Howdy folks, my name is Cletus McFarlane, and today you're going to see me drive the 2020 C8 Corvette. It's important to note, I'm not just some journalist hopping in Chevrolet's newest hot rod. I'm a die-hard Corvette enthusiast. I've broken world records in these cars. I know every square inch of them. I know how they ride, react, and race. Today my mission is to give you a real Corvette guy's review of the C8. One you can take to the bank. Let's see if these things can do a burnout, most importantly, and let it rip. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Far on YouTube channel. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you already know by the title and the intro, we're about to drive a C8 Corvette. Cooper, how do you feel today? I'm pretty pumped up. You fired up? Yeah. We've been Corvetting it up for a long time with the engine in front of us. This is like the pinnacle of your base model Corvette career. This is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't hate it. all my cars are base models, but still, man, I mean, we're doing it live. I'm just glad Chevy invited us. We didn't get invited yeah. to the uh, the reveal, and we were sad. They said, hey, brothers, we want to invite you to this one. So we're pulling up to our hotel right now. Apparently, there's going to be a C8 right when we hop out, and I haven't even seen one up close. So this is going to be fantastic. Look at how fancy. We, they even picked us up in a freaking Chevrolet. Dang. We got the Coop with the burb. Mm. Have you seen one up close yet? Or did we just see the one on the transport? We just saw that one on the transport driving by. All right. Clayton Coop's first up close and personal with a C8, folks. Oh. Forget my bag. I got a little my mile on this thing. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Oh, man. Golly. This thing is sick. Oh yeah. I think those are the wheels I got on mine, the Trident wheels. Sick, man. All right, big question today, guys, is gonna be uh, whether a six foot six giraffe like myself fits inside. We're gonna find out. Damn, we are off to a start. For, woo, that is cool. Bags there. Wow, you could fit at least a hundred Mountain Dews back there. Might have to test that. Wow. That actually might be kind of difficult to work on. I, don't know. I ain't changing the plugs on it. <laughs> yeah, that looks that looks like something you're gonna have to do from underneath. This is a true supercar now, dude. That uh, intake cover is sick. Look at these vents, dude. Oh my god! All right, let me get in. Can I get in this one? Is that all right? You have to find it first to get in. Oh yeah, nice little button under there. Oh, big moment here, folks. Being as tall as I am, you know, I fit good in C6s, decent, pretty good in C5s, not the greatest in C7s. So the C8, you know, it was, I've been nervous about this moment. It looks a lot like a C7, I like the cabin. I like the steering wheel a lot more. Okay, let's. Yeah, it's better for your legs to fit under the steering wheel. Back. This thing's forward. For all you tall guys out there, cross your fingers. Yeah, but look, the wheel is square, so you get your legs under it easy. Wow. The results are in. I have leg room. Great leg room. Way better than the C7. But, in fact, look. Take a look. My hair is touching. Ah. Uh, so, so he well, if you're right here, I'm good. Hold on, let me try to adjust it. But I have almost too much leg room. I mean, right there, dude, I'm in pretty good shape. This would not require a seat change out like the C7 did. I mean, in my C7, I literally had to put a custom seat in to sit on the ground. I probably would still do it, but this is workable. This is this is probably more cabin room than the C7. Woo! Oh, look at that fancy screen. Golly, brother. Is there a key in this thing? I don't know. No, there's not a key. No. <laughs> <laughs> All the car, dude. Okay, you know what? Let's go check in. And yeah, we'll get to fly back. We're gonna drive one, so let's not forget this isn't even a Z06 yet. Those haven't even come out yet. I did. So mine is blue with a blue interior, but I'm digging the red on black. This is what uh, Stain Killer got. So it's a good spec. These steamy? Just tap it a little bit and draw it down. There we go. Mm, it does it all on its own. <laughs> all right, cool. Let's head inside. Wow. I think this is a. Oh, this is our. This is the color we have. This might not be our car. We didn't get to choose our color, folks. You so, get what you get. 
What, what red did we get? We didn't get torch red, we got the other red. red Some, red. Something yeah. like burgundy. Ooh, I kind of like this color. Yeah. Oh. Okay, a little red interior action. Is this us? Yeah. How can you, how can you tell? Uh, the color. Is there a number? No, the guy said it was going to be ours. Oh, okay. going online. All right, well, definitely not the spec I would order, but hey, brother, we're here to. The car is the same. <laughs> there are any like 50 year old men out there watching, they're going to be fired up. I mean, this is it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Okay, no cool. Wing or anything Hold either. On. Let me show him this blue interior though. Oh, look, it doesn't have the wing like this. Oh man. Let's see this uh this blue interior. So I did get this blue. Let's get a shot up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Blue interior. I'm stoked about that. Oh, it's good. What color is this reference? This this is called natural interior. And then the color of the car is called Long Beach Red. Long Beach Red. Wowzers. Coop, fire this thing up real quick. Let me get the the LT2 fire up sound. So 6.2 liter, small block V8, just like the LT1, a little bit revised, LT2. Makes 495 horse. Let's hear the bald eagles, you know? Okay. Give her a little spice. Okay, not bad. I mean, you could. I'd, I'd estimate somewhere in the 50 Mountain News range. Really nice. A little Stingray logo. Okay, boys, here we go. Have fun. Thanks. Ooh. Look at all these buttons. Wow. You know, all those shed handle, you're going to hit this is the seat and stuff. Yeah, dude, don't tell me <laughs> I hated seats if, <laughs> if things get rattled. <laughs> oh, gosh. What a so unit, you do, dude. You just pull it. And then that'll put you in manual. You push neutral, pull reverse, push park. Wow. Pull, wow. push, push. Wow, the front end is so short. Oh, yeah. Oh, Thanks. <laughs> wow. Mirrors have pretty decent... Look at the, look at the fender. Oh, yeah. You, all you can see is fender. What the heck, dude? Feels weird, man. I mean, compared to a normal Corvette, this is tremendously different which it doesn't surprise me but I feel like a journalist saying such exquisite things you know so the dual clutch feels dual clutchy feels dual clutchy you know wow the top of the steering wheel being square is <laughs> wow weird stuff going on folks I don't I don't know are you in sport mode hands. I'm in freaking race mode, dude. Oh, all right, my bad. Um, 1,100 miles on this unit? I'm trying to gather myself. I don't know what. Hold, hold on to your biscuits, Cooper. Can you spin it out for us? It's already hit traction control right there. Ah, Dude, you're supposed to be navigating. Where am I supposed to be going? I don't know, I thought you were just driving. <laughs> they told us kind of just wing it, didn't they? Oh, they specifically said follow the route. Yeah, look at this, look at this, ready? This is uh, like sport mode, and then we're gonna go to track. Goodness, sweet honey barbecue gracious. This is insane, That dude. does look pretty sick. Dude, this is your color. Just wanna say. <laughs> Don't get James all fired up. <laughs> dude, you, I mean, this is fitting for your mannerisms, Scoop. Uh, let's see, AC seats. Go ahead and turn them babies on. Is that for your side or my side? I think that's your side. Mine's up here. How do you know that? I don't know. But we'll turn them both on. No, that was mine. Those are mine. Well, that's not a good way to tell by turning them both on. Well, I turned that. I just felt mine. <laughs> we are experts in the field of researching. <laughs> we know these cars inside now. You heard the intro. Let me rev this thing up. Oh man, look at that. Wow. Dude, sick. It sounds good. It does sound fantastic. Definitely sound, it sounds better than uh, the old LT1. That is a, wow, that that's is a front. pretty incredible camera, I believe. Or, no, that's the back. 
this is how you change the modes from like sport and all that good stuff. And then uh, traction control button up here. Wow, the dual clutch is incredibly smooth. That unit works. All right, I turned the traction control off, so we might as well just rip it real quick. And you're turning left. 1.4 miles. Smooth, man. I'm impressed by the smoothness of the dual clutch. You know, if you guys have driven like a Porsche with a PDK, it is, it's that level for sure. I mean, it's, it's very good. I didn't know what to think with Chevy coming out with their own dual clutch, you know, I was like, well, you know, how could this turn out? It's good. Oh my. It doesn't do a burnout. That is, hold on, what if I turn it? Yeah, if you click it and then hold it. Okay, that's competitive mode. That's launch control, okay? But know how that works now. Now what if I hold it and turn everything off? I think it does. Okay, that's, that's stability track and everything. Tough break. <sighs> Should bring it back now. I'm excited about everything, so I'm gonna let this go. We might be able to get it to do it right now. We've come to a revelation here. Apparently, you know, I probably should have researched this, not gonna lie. If you hold the paddle shifters, it's like holding in the clutch. So there is a there, there you go. Oh wow. That's that my main gear. Oh and nice. <laughs> Do it for Dale! <laughs> there you go. Oh man. Now I did a thing. I feel a lot better. What if I let off the the power shifters and also hit the brake? We might be onto something. I think that's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll save that one for when I, I actually own one. <laughs> Good, dude. That was pretty fast. It looked up good. Nah, I banged my head. Did you bang your head? Yeah, yeah right, dude. Yeah, I think I'll. I think I'll live. I mean, what a stock previous model car I've hooked in first like that. Uh, I don't think so. There's a lot of weight transfer, like the front. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it really weight transfer is nice. This is weird, man. I don't know what is happening. I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah. There's no leaf spring back there. Yeah, coilovers, what the heck? Yeah. I was telling Coop, I was like, I'm getting this bad glare from the sun. Here, look, if I put the camera right here, they'll be able to see it too. See that glare? Oh yeah, you're getting That has just been destroying me. So Coop grabs this thing, goes no glare, straight camera mode. Oh, you Jeez. can zoom in, look. Is that what it is? <laughs> Someone is really using their head on that. <laughs> We're doing about 80 mile an hour right now. It is dead quiet and very smooth. It actually has this button that you can set up. So if you hit the button, it instantly changes to your like race settings. So essentially, driving down the road, guy pulls up, wants to get the gap. You have your button that has all your presets for, uh, you know, brake response, auto response, you know, difference. Got a lot of different settings, and you hit that Z mode button, and uh, it's right here on the steering wheel, Z button, and it just activates it exactly how you want it instantly. Yeah. 
It sounds really good. I am impressed. And it's cool. Like, there's a lot of just... It's so different, you know? It's like... It almost needed to happen. You know, you got the engine noise behind you now. It's totally different. Normally, it's engine noise and front exhaust back. It's just... Everything's so new. It's, it's, not, it's refreshing. You know? Like, I'm a fan. It's a good car. It's a good car. So good unit. We're doing some cruising here. Just enjoy the drive. Know how to use one of these things? What a wild sound. So that was like competitive mode. Can we just try it like off the foot brake? Uh, yeah, that's probably your best bet. I'll try it traction control off, track mode. Not competitive mode, just off the foot brake. Yeah. All right guys, so we just found this pretty cool spot to stop and take a thumbnail photo. Everything's beautiful. Pretty neat. 87 millimeter throttle body. I mean, dude, it's a cool unit. I think this is number 165. Yeah, it is. Hey, uh, switch it from, it's, it should be in like normal mode. Switch it to race mode real quick so I can hear the exhaust tone. Just go one to the right with the dial and it should do it. Oh yeah, hear that? Certainly looks like it'd be a job to get to anything. It looks like it has plenty of room for a blower. <laughs> it does, no, dude, it has plenty of room. Look at that, when this is shut, there is plenty of room for a supercharger. But wait, think about it like this too. That would mean that the belt would have to be up here. Oh yeah, <laughs> crap. Well, <laughs> that's that true. makes it tough for like a 2650 to be like here. Yeah. It would be able to like notch this. Yeah. I don't think you can notch the frame. I don't know if that's a good idea. It's gonna have to be turboed. Because you know this, if this was gone and you put a turbo kit back here, I mean this this taken out would give you plenty of room for a turbo. It'd be like a Lambo. It'd be back here. It'd be Lambo style. That kind of leads me to believe the, the Z06 could be a turbo car. It might be, but judging by that. Just judging by that major, I mean, that's a big issue. That's, I mean, there's no room for a, a belt. Who knows, though? Chevy has done some pretty impressive things. I mean, things. they could probably make it fit with a very fancy blower. Yeah. Okay, folks. All in all, as I come to the end of my portion of the driving and Coop takes over, I'm going to give my review as I'm, I'm really excited. There's not much about the car that I don't like. You know, aside from it not doing a standing burnout, which is a very small, you know, thing in the grand scheme of things, really. No one else is really gonna worry yeah. about that besides like me and maybe six other guys who are gonna buy these. But the car is awesome, dude. It's like, it rides great, it handles awesomely. The handling is way sharper than it was before and that might be seating position you know i'm not 100 percent sure but uh dude it just feels really really good it's quick it's nothing insane but it is fast the room is way better like i feel a lot more comfortable as a driver could be saying as a passenger not as good uh, a little tighter than the c7 a little bit tighter he's also put on some weight so <laughs> 
since yesterday when I was moving your C7. Yeah. <laughs> but no, seriously, it's it's a great car, dude. It, I'm excited. I was concerned that I was gonna come here and, and be like, I need to cancel my C8 order. No way. I'm more excited now. This thing rips. It feels good. It's definitely different. Like there's a lot of things that are just so different. They're gonna take some getting used to, like the square steering wheel. You know, the screens, all these buttons. Working on the engine is going to be a lot tougher, I think. Uh, but dude, it's a it's a machine, so no uh, handle to grab onto. Yeah, he has no handle. There's no handle over here. But it is it's just so good. It is a good car. It is a really freaking good car. So that's my review. Cooper will take over here shortly and uh, give you a review himself. All right, guys. So Coop is about to take over the old C8, take it for a rip himself. I have to give a shout out to the Building 94 chassis dyno guys for the C8. They were telling me that apparently those guys watch our videos, so shout out to them. But Cooper, are you ready to take the wheel of this thing? Yeah, I'm curious to Feel see what it's all about. Good news is you have miles in every Corvette we've ever had, so you have your fair share of it. And you have the wagon version of the Corvette, basically. Okay. So I think you're gonna like it, man. So guys, we just sat and talked to the engineers for uh, good bit of 30 45 minutes don't worry guys so i was pressing cool. them about the z06 but they were quiet we were trying to we were trying to find out the z06 is gonna be supercharged or turbo they wouldn't tell us maybe it's nitrous dude i was about to say nitrous <laughs> but these uh engineer guys were so cool it's an interesting seating position swerve it a little bit feel, feel how like forward you are oh yeah it's it's got great it's like you, it's like you, it, I don't know, it's just so in tune with the steering wheel, there's no delay. Yeah, it is really, it's, it's going to be great on a track. Yeah, I'm excited. So. Alright, we're cruising back right now. Woohoo! So I want to point out that Chevrolet supplied us with snacks at the last stop, one of which being Blades, Potato Chips, and Red Bull. The other, the other which being Nature Valley. These are two of the crummiest uh, snacks I could actually think of. So I think they want me to test the vehicle's limits as far as eating crummy snacks inside of it. Is that true? Yeah, I think that was their goal. Sometimes you open these things and it's basically a grenade, a granola grenade going off. So wish me luck, folks. So, All right, so he said he can do a rolling clutch drop, so yeah. C8. I, I know I was going to be pretty impressed by it. It's good, but it's definitely a little better than I was imagining. It's good. It's good vehicle. Yeah. Heard it here, for, you heard it here first, folks. Number one critic of everything. Hey, Coop. It's a great car. I'm glad you liked it more than you thought you would. It because more power. It needs more power. It needs more it's good more though, power. dude. For 60 grand. Now this one's a little more because it's got more packages, but base model, street car wise, the thing is amazing. Tomorrow we get to race it on a racetrack. Not this car. We're actually gonna be in a Z51. Hopefully a blue one. Alright guys, that is it for our C8 review. There you go. Overall, Cooper and I really liked it. That's a Two guys who spend who have spent a lot of their life around Corvettes. So so uh there's one last look at old Ron Burgundy before our departure with it. But uh see you guys at the track tomorrow. Thanks for watching New for Dale. Freaking see you later.